Welcome to the Michigan Family Campground Review, where today we review Taylor's Beach Campground in Howell, Michigan. For category number one, we have a big, beautiful beach area. Lots of nice tiki huts that are built in for people to sit at. Uh, water activities for the kids to jump off of. A couple of what are called rockets. A couple of big platforms for the kids to jump off of. Uh, nice, really nice sand. Um, a little spongy platform down here for the kids to jump on uh, in the shallow part of the lake. Uh, lots of lounge chairs, two big oversized yellow Adirondack chairs for the people to sit in. Um, a really nice beach area. So we give this a category score of nine. Here's the beach vibe. Got a DJ here today. People sitting in this gazebo. Great feel. Up in the front of the campground for category number two, they have a very large camp store. There's lots of DVDs here to rent, lots of coolers and freezers and refrigerators with all kinds of grocery items that you may need, along with different apparel that goes along with Taylor's Beach Campground and other uh, items, including ice creams and freezies and that type of thing that you may want to have for your trip. So we give this a category score of seven. For category number three, for Wi-Fi cable and cell service, uh, things were not great. The cell service is really spotty around the campground. It is kind of far removed from the city. Uh, the Wi-Fi is not very accessible and not great for the kids to get on their iPads and such. There are some cable outlets, cable boxes around at certain campsites. I tried to connect my camper to that and get some channels and nothing was working very great. We give this a category score of two. The staff at this campground is very friendly. You are greeted with a smile and you can tell they're smiling under those masks during the pandemic. Uh, they do have something that goes around the campground called the stool bus. Uh, if you need to have your um, black water emptied in your RV, they're happy to do that for you for a $10 fee. We give them a category score of eight. So for category number five, campsite makeup versus cost, we have uh, very nice campsite here, lots of grass, a little bit of a sandy area. Uh, we were at this campsite here a few weeks ago, uh, and it's very sandy. Notice that some of these are kind of built on a slope. We had to kind of jack that up quite a bit. Um, looks like a lot of them are very hilly, just kind of uh, uneven surface pretty much around, but still nice campsites nonetheless. Uh, every campsite has a picnic table and a fire ring. Very nice. So we give this category score of six. This campground has a great vibe, and this is one of the reasons why we keep coming back to this campground. There are golf carts everywhere, people that are zipping around. There are lots of people that stay at this campground that are seasonal, so it seems like they have porches and that kind of thing built around their, their campers and RVs to stay there permanently. Lots of trails behind uh, the east side of the campground. Uh, the campground is on some nice country dirt roads, so if you want to go out for a run, walk, or jog, uh, or walk the dog, there are lots of good places to do that. So we give this a category score of 10. Plan kids activity. Who can blow the biggest bubble at the DJ? Yeah, as you saw the weekend that we were there, the DJ did have some games that were planned for the kids to play, uh, such as hula hoops, blowing bubbles, and the basketball game. Um, I think that these activities were planned by the DJ, so if you happen to go when there was not a DJ there, I don't know if there were any activities planned by the campground themselves, but we do give this a category score of seven. As far as non-planned activities for the kids for category number eight, there is a giant playground for all the kids to play on. Uh, it goes all the way to the other end of the campground, a big giant basketball court and a gaga ball pit. There really is a lot to keep the kids busy for non-planned activities. Very large arcade above the bathrooms, complete with air hockey and pool tables. A big splash pad for the kids that's running when the weather is hot out. Very nice. Volleyball court over there. Every few weeks or so, they have this big giant burn pile full of pallets and sticks and wood that they uh, light up and have a big bonfire for everyone in the campground to come and watch. So we give this a category score of nine. 
Bathhouse amenities are very large and clean and cleaned frequently. Showers are quite large for people to use. There's an outdoor shower to wash off the sand and lake water. But there is only one bathhouse for the entire campground to service. So we give this a category score of seven. Tiki Hut boat for rent, $80 every hour and a half. Paddle boat, kayaks, stuck in swan boat and canoes over there to rent to sail around in this big lake. So we give this a category score of six. So to sum it all up, we give Taylor's Beach Campground in Howell, Michigan, a total campground score of 71 out of 100 points. We hope this review has been helpful for you and don't forget to hit the subscribe button to get more reviews on Michigan Family Campgrounds.